Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. I have been so excited that Karen has come out with this new book and she is a little angel, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful artist and she has sent me the mystical lands of Calandra and it is gorgeous. So as you know, Karen E. Myers has um, several different books of the Mystical Lands collection. Um, and this is her newest, The Adventures in the Secret Realms books. And I'm so excited. Can you tell? <laughs> um, I did a really, really, really quick little flip through of it to myself so I could see what's in here. And um, I had to share it right away is just gorgeous a wonderful new map all different new places to look into so we've got the crystal mine the haunted ruins the port of Peshin, uh hawk haven isle of shadows the old hills the icy realm the mystic portal the lake Sol. uh Heretile Fields, the High Bridge, the Loch Luna, the Fey Mountains, the Temple, the Ravens Point, Whispered Whisperwood, and of course the South Citadel and the Dark Vortex. Ooh. Let's take a look. Let us uh, peruse the mystical lands of Calandra. There is of course a wonderful test page and it also has a welcome page where it says welcome to the mystical lands of Calandra. The autumn equinox has just passed and the countryside is laden with bountiful harvest. The air is cool and crisp. The vibrant autumnal energy blankets the land. Lively festivals and celebrations are underway throughout the secret realm, and all the mystical beings are busy preparing for the long, dark winter ahead. Explore the mystical lands of Calandra and search for its hidden autumn secrets. Be sure to pause along your journey to add a splash of color here and a dash of color there to magically bring each scene to life. What autumn secrets will you uncover? and color by Karen E. Myers. That is so cool. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. And each picture is very, very well detailed, has some really cool little bits and bobs in it. A little mouse, see? <laughs> oh, yeah, you are gonna get some giddy. You are going to get plenty of giddy because I have been waiting for this book since she has started drawing it and I just, I couldn't wait. It, it was one of those ones that I have been looking forward to um, just as I am a Joanna Basford's Secret Rooms book. This one is the Fay Mountain Foothills. Oh, little houses. They're so cute. So keep your eyes out. Uh, when she was here with us, visiting with us, she did give us a couple of things to watch for. So make sure that you keep your eyes out for some, maybe some little fairies in the houses. Some little gnomes in the fields, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. I love the falling leaves too. Oh, there we have some mushroom people again. I love them. I just love it. So this is the gathering at the mystic portal. And then we have Gnome Island Depot. Don't see no little creatures, but they may be hiding. In the mystical lands, of course, all the little creatures are um, mystical, so they don't like being seen. So if you spot one, 
You are a one lucky duck. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is just awesome. That view, that view right through the room into the next room. That is fantastic. So this is the Haunted Runes, the Hermitage. The Haunted Runes Hermitage. That's a mouthful. Oh, I love the fire. The angry little fire. That's <laughs> so cute. And then we have Hawkhaven Hamlet. So all the little seashells and the little sand houses. And the little sand castles everywhere. That's so cute. Sorry guys, I am yes, I'm going to gush. So <laughs> enjoy it. Oh, I love it. I love how it has the upper part and the moon and the campfire and everything else, and then it goes down into the storage areas and the different little houses that are down below the the soil that is so cool and the mar marble hill manor so it's built like a marble run that's awesome oh, a little cemetery oh there's a there's a peeker there there's a little peeker there The Mushroom Hall Lodging. A great big huge mushroom hotel. <laughs> Their little clothes are hanging on the line. Well, they better bring them in before they freeze because it looks like it's starting to snow. No, that's stars. So they're out at night. And the Old Hills Headquarters. And the storage little area there below that little house. Love that they've got their food hanging from the from the tree there. Oh, and a little swing. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have the Pumpkin Gardens Plaza. I just love all the details that she puts into every picture. There's just so many little details. They're so cute. And then we have the Pumpkin Paradise Resort. A little pumpkin hotel. And then we have the Ravens Point Cottage. Love it. And the cottage is so small that there is a caterpillar on the roof and it doesn't uh, doesn't look like it's tiny. That's awesome. Another mushroom house. Love it. Oh, and this is an awesome one. Oh, we're going to have to color this one soon. The Snail's Pace Crossing. So cross it at a snail's pace. Enjoy the view. Love it, love it, love it, love it. The Sweet Fields Farm Stand. Ooh, all sorts of cakes and pies and candied apples. Love all the little houses underneath the cake stand. That's awesome. Under the farm stand. The toadstool towers. <laughs> all little toadstools. That's awesome. Oh, and there's little peekers. wonder if any of the little peekers are going to come out. I haven't seen any yet. Oh. The wise, two wise trees. And as you can see, they are like old wise men talking and gossiping to the squirrel. There's a squirrel. The villas at Gnome Isles. I love it. Still haven't seen any of those little creatures other than a little squirrel and a ladybug and a caterpillar. The Whispering Wood Enchantment. All different little little lights going up the tree, lighting up the doorways. That is so cool. 
this is one of those books you just go through and you just let your imagination take you anywhere you want to go. And is there a duplicate? I think there's two sets. There is. So this book has two sets. So if you don't find everything the first time, you can go through and find everything all over again. Although, I don't remember that one. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. don't remember the pumpkin patch for some reason. I remember that one. Oh, yeah, it's there. Okay. <laughs> I didn't... I don't remember the pumpkin patch. You know, when I first looked at this page, I did not see the giant snake across the floor. I saw the little mouse, but I didn't see... The giant snake. That's interesting. Like I said, you get to see new bits of things. You you find new things every time. This one here is the apple cider factory. And we just quickly flip past this one to start with. I looked at it, but we didn't talk about it. I love the fact that the little apples have all faces. And they're all being very terrified about going into the pot to make the apple cider. Just so cool. The Fay Mountain foothills. And it's got a little pull through, a drive through, through this house. And I guess he's the gatekeeper. So he, you have to talk to him every time you go through. That's cool. Again, another thing I didn't notice the first time through. Oh, I love the waterfall. So every time you go through, you just notice new things. Falling waters wonder. All right, so that is the mystical lands of Calandra in the search of autumn secrets. Of course, this is a new book from Karen E. Myers. It will be released on full release on August 22nd. You can pre-order it now and have it delivered by the 23rd. I will, of course, leave the link below the uh below the video of where on Amazon you can get this fantastic book. Make sure you show Karen the love. She is a gorgeous uh, artist and a absolutely wonderful, wonderful artist and person. I love all her work and uh, you will not be disappointed in this one either. With that, I would like to say thank you all very much for watching this uh, quick little flip through. Living through my oohs and ahs and ogglings, um, I am going to uh, maybe color a page. I'm not sure. Um, actually, not today because I've got housework that needs to be done. <sighs> I'd, uh, I'm sad now. <laughs> I will at some point be coloring in this wonderful book uh, and of course I will post that on my Facebook as um, Facebook group as well as the Instagram Karen thank you so much for sending me this book I so appreciate you and I appreciate your art and uh, you are just a wonderful wonderful person again make sure that you check her out she does have her own facebook she has her own little website and of course she does sell all her books on amazon her name is karen e myers and she is the wonderful wonderful artist of the mystical lands um adventure series of coloring books always remember to like comment and subscribe to any youtube artist that you enjoy uh, the reason why I say this at the end of every video is not to make you hit that like button for just myself, which I do appreciate when you do. But it is also to remind you of doing that whenever you see a YouTube video that you enjoy. Because not only does it help us um, 
with our self-esteem and, and feeling good about what we're doing. But it also tells YouTube's analytics, the little computer that tells people where to go and what new videos they should watch. It tells that little bot that you enjoyed that video. The more people that enjoy that video, the more likely they are to send new people to view the video. And of course, as I say at the end of every video, and I mean wholeheartedly, is always, always remember to relax, color, and stay safe, everyone. It is a very, very stressful world out there. Until next time, bye-bye for now.